What's up everybody, Bo Heinen back with another uh, video for Little Big Robots, which is uh, the channel you're on right now. It's a channel for uh, little versions of big robots, as it sounds. Oh, there's dog hair everywhere. Just stop with the dog hair everywhere. She sheds a lot, so we'll just happen to see it all over the desk. Um, this is another Snapships. Snapships is one of the 12 lines I collect. Oops, and I'm breaking little pieces off. This is their brand new, and they just keep coming with the hits, man. I'm telling you, look at that. Uh, it's called the Claymore. Um, it's like a carrier type ship. As usual on the back, they show you an exploded view of the toy, which I think is um, real. I mean, imagine if you had a Lego. Uh, you know, you bought a box of Lego, uh, a Star Wars one or something like that, and on the back it was not the assembled piece, but it broken into all its little smaller forms. That's just, I, I think it's really, really cool, actually. Um, but they do that because they show you how you literally assemble it. You could probably even just uh, assemble it following the, the image here. Um, there is an app as well if you want to get the little app. Where is the app? Anyway, the app is advertised on here somewhere. Go get the little app. It's actually a really cool app. You can um, It gives you instructions and stuff like that as well as alternative builds in the app. So it's kind of, I think, Mega Constructs and I think Lego now as well does um, instructions inside an app to kind of help... You know, it's modern day stuff, so might as well do it. I'm going to leave that piece there for now. Um, here's the instructions as usual. They're big and beautiful and easy to follow. They really give you huge instructions here as far as just the images. But that's great for like kids or somebody who can't see as well maybe or, you know, whatever. It's a really, really um, um, good way to do this. This is the only one I don't think there's alternative builds. I just noticed that. Usually in these there's like an alternative build. This is the other large one um, that they put out before that I have, that, uh, that one as well. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm basically building all the original snapships. I've, I've built them all before. I've got a ton of extra kits. And now I am uh, rebuilding them. If they're not already assembled and they're preordained, you know, how they're supposed to be built, I'm reassembling and I'm putting it on my snapships shelf. Um, so I'll show an update of that soon. But this is the the final product. Um, it's honking big, which is great. It's got some neat little gimmicks here, which I'll, I'll show you in a moment here. Um, I had a little bit of a smudge of silver paint there, but I like that. That means somebody was literally painting it. Got this little smudge on there. That's your little uh, little cockpit, I guess you'd want to call it. Your, like your captain's bridge, whatever you want to call it. Where is that? There you go. So you can pick it up there. You've got two little dudes. Um, these always come with their little pilots, little people. These are like the little aliens that are part of the uh, part of the thing here. They've got a little a little uh, bend at the waist there. Oh, and she just popped out. Poop. So, you know, they're really, really tiny. I'd say those are like probably one 144 scale. I'd have to, you know, I'd have to take a look. I have some over there. They might be a little bit smaller. Those might go along with uh, Gunpla. That would be kind of exciting. So this is basically, it's supposed to be like a carrier. It's got some neat weapons uh, on it. You know, posability, lots of play gimmicks and stuff like that. I love that these can, uh, they design these to rotate, these engines here, because it reminds me of, uh, you know, some of the craft we've seen in some of the different, it's so big, it's hard to get it all on screen here, so I apologize for that. It reminds me of some of the different um, style of ships we've gotten in, for example, in, uh, what's it called, the last Alien movie. Oh, why am I forgetting the name of it? The, the drop ship they had had adjustable stuff like that. There's a big ship in other movies like that. Boy, I'm glad I just paused and caught that sneeze so you wouldn't have to hear that was an explosion. Um, anyway, Prometheus, that's the one. In Prometheus, they have this ship that has these these cool leg lander. You know, like the legs are also the landing uh, thrusting things and all that. Um, you've got this cool gimmick here where it's got like a release thing. What I really like here is it, it, they've designed this. This is the first time I've seen this where they're using one of their parts here as a temporary holder, kind of, if that, if that makes sense. It's like a snaps it into place, but it shows you how easy um, it snaps into place and how not hard it is to get off, but it, it holds it pretty well. And one of the issues with snap ships is uh, on longer pieces where you're only connecting with one or two bits, like this is just connected with one there, um, you do get a little bit of a flex. But you know, it's, it, I don't mind that. It's not, it, I don't think it needs to be rigid or anything. Um, you'll get that as well if you're building anything longer in a, uh, a Lego kit. You're going to get some flex just because there's a little bit of give there. But th that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Holy moly, I've got the sneezes today again. I'm glad I paused that. So it's it's meant to just come right open. And I'll show you the little parts in here, which this is, I thought this was really cool. 
Um, so you, it swings open, and it's like a, it's like a, um, oops, it's like a landing part, a landing pod, landing section. You, know, you land, and this pops open. Oops, I'm not showing it in the, in the, uh, in the screen here much. And it's got a, a lot of neat little parts. This is, see, this just pops right off. But I'll show you what it is. This is basically like a bay to drop this this mech off. Now it's hard to see that mech because it does blend in with the background. Um, but this is a perfect example of um, a chance to paint some snap shifts or even just wash the whole thing. If you wash this, the details would just look so good. But supposedly, I don't know if this will work or not. Let's see if it'll drop. Oh, there you go. So you, you, that's a little play feature they have where you drop it off. And you got a really, it's a really basic little mech, but I really, really like the design of this. It just uses basic joints. The legs don't move other than like that. But it's really, uh, for lack of a better term, cute. And then you can put your little uh, person inside there, little pilot. It closes up. I don't know how much it closes up. I don't think it closes up that much. Nothing garden or blocking it. I don't think it closes. Yeah, it stays about right that, I guess. And so the pilot goes in there and just, it's kind of like a little walker bot thing. And then on the side here, you've got your additional, this thing swings out and helps position wherever. And then you've got these additional little parts. So you can take these additional arms here and uh, snap them off. Oops, let's take off this one here. And if you want to do more like construction work looking stuff. So just that mech alone, I would love to paint that little mech. That'd be fun. Imagine that in a gunmetal. Uh, you know, done up with some details, maybe some little uh, uh, gold on the piping and stuff like that. Really, really neat. So he drops off. He's a smaller mech. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this. So you've got to, when you close it, you've got to get that little, see right here, you got to get that to snap in. And sometimes it's hard to do that. Go ahead and close these back. I love these, uh, this color scheme here. But again, a washing, that would be amazing. Then as you can see down in here, it's got another drop. Uh, this time it's a larger mech. I'm going to see if I can uh, get that one to drop. Here's the little button back here. How does it do it? Uh oh, it's not doing it. Did it not put it in right? It's not going. Anyway, he's supposed to just pop right out. Oh, it's because he's up against there. Let me do this again. Let's see if we can get that to go. He, he was kind of squeezed against there. Let's see if we can get it to go now. There we go. So that drops down. Again, a really cool little play feature thing. And this is more of a heavy duty mech, kind of a larger one. There's the little cockpit again. Your pilot just goes in there. Um, really just an interesting use of a cockpit, you know. And then um, you've got this this cool little, you got two little mechs. You got the more of an exploratory kind of, has some weapons. And then you got the great big one who's like the deadly one, like the, you know, looks like an ATST or something like that. So that lands and does that business and this guy can fly off. It has some other uh, gimmicks with the, uh, with the, bridge here let me see i can't remember how it goes i think it lifts up and this will land this will go down oops i keep putting not putting in the that goes like that i believe i can't remember exactly how it goes let's see here it's not a, it's not like a transformation but it's cool to see them kind of doing something a little bit more uh dynamic with the builds which is really cool yeah like that see so it just kind of pops down and it'll kind of that thing will pop out so it does that drops its cargo as it were oops and then it uh, takes off. So it's a really cool build, it's really interesting. I'm, uh, as usual, with uh, each of these new kits, this is a, the new wave or whatever, you're getting more and more interesting parts. Um, where was that one? Oh yeah, this is something new. You get this nice angular part here. This thing alone, excuse me, this thing alone is just, is gonna be so handy to have. It's got four uh, attachment ports there, so that's gonna be amazing to have. And so I imagine a lot of people will want several of those parts. Um, I asked before if they sell individual parts as they are, and they will definitely they can definitely give you a replacement part for one or two parts. But I don't believe that they allow you to buy just a bulk of a certain part. If they did that, I think I don't know. It just seems like a, it would be such a great idea because you'd have builders like myself who need several of those or several of this or whatever to make a certain theme. And what they normally have to do is what they do like with Lego and the Lego community is they have to go to a third party like a brick vault or something and order a bulk of those parts. I don't mind that. I think that's fine. But I think it would just be awesome if you could order, excuse me, order that particular part. But I love the orange colors, the highlights. Um, you've got these neat landing uh, legs now. You've got a, a nice option there. And then as usual, you've got your, uh, oh, here's some of the leftover parts, by the way. You got this guy here with the shooty shooty things. I don't use the shooty things because I'll lose them and then I'm afraid my dog will end up uh, 
How do you shoot these? I can't remember. Uh, my dog will end up swallowing that or something, so I don't use those. You get, a, a, of course, a million of these. I got probably a hundred other things. And then you get your nice stand. This is, of course, on the top of the box, which is genius, always genius. The top of the box is the stand. I mean, I wish more toys did that. You take off one of the legs here. Sorry, again, it's so large, it's hard for me to get it all on screen. Let me see if I can get it set up. So go like that there. And then this one goes here. And then you, oh, it's at an angle. It's being held up at an angle. But I dig that, it might go better the other way. Anyway, um, so you've now got your stand and you put that on the shelf and it'll actually, it's actually, oh, you know what, I might have it on the wrong hole. I think I do. Which one does it go on here? No, well, it's gotta go on one of those. No, so it's up at an angle, but that's cool. It looks kind of like a nice action shot or whatever. So, very, very cool. Ooh, I hate that scraping sound. Um, and then you get your uh, your little, this is their new thing where you have kind of like a gush pond blind box kind of a thing and you get these little cool little, oh, these are nice. Uh, little parts that will attach in certain areas on the build. Uh, kind of like effects parts and gun plicates. Really, really cool. So, the the I think this one probably for the for the play features, you know, the mechs and the dropping and all the extra. This is probably one of the best uh, the best kits uh, they've ha they've had in a long time. This is, I mean, obviously the size is cool. I've got the other large one, the uh, what you call the uh, Gladius, I believe. That one's a great size, but this one has so much more bang for your buck, I think, in a lot of ways, because you get not only the new mech parts, which people are always dying for mech parts. Like, Please make mechs. So they started to make mechs and stuff and mech kind of parts. But you get the play feature, you get all these, this n nice orange color, you get all this additional kind of, it's almost like life stuff, if that makes sense, like stuff that you would, you know, that the, it's not just combat stuff, it's like stuff they would use in building things and it's just a really, really great build. It's so big though, it's hard to, hard to film right now. So <laughs> sorry about that. So definitely worth it. I would go check it out. Um, I've been getting mine on Amazon or on playmonster.com uh, direct. You might want to check one of those. It might be a little easier with, as with, as, as. I had to shut up my, uh, my little lady in the box there for a minute, but um, if you might want to go direct because um, there's, you know, shipping delays everywhere and stuff like that. And if you don't, uh, go to a site that has a good reliable, maybe even a, I don't know, maybe they have some of these in a warehouse somewhere, you're, it's going to take you forever to get them. So I have the other ones ordered, um, the actual Mech the Mall, which is the one that everybody's excited about, that one right there. I have it ordered, but it's delayed and delayed, and so hopefully I can get one of those before too long so I can review those. And I believe that will be caught up. I think I have all of them caught up now. I don't think I'm missing any, but go check it out. That is the uh, Claymore troop carrier, mech carrier thing. Really, really interesting build, great parts, a lot of fun. It doesn't take long to build at all, so it's good for a kid or whatever, but once you're done building, then all the fun stuff happens because you can take it apart and rearrange it and all that good stuff. Have a good one, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.